Hello, this is Glenn Yancey with Ensource Solutions. This video is going to focus on creating a maintenance screen by utilizing the graphics added to the App Engine, Win Platform, and DDE SuiteLink client template. To start, I am going to open up three templates the Win Platform template, the App Engine template, and the DDE SuiteLink client template. Now, as you can see, all of these templates are derived templates that I have created from the base template. This is common practice inside of a system platform galaxy because the base templates that come with the galaxy are all read only. So this is why we have to create our own versions of them. But it's gonna be on these templates that we add the correct symbols that are used for diagnostics to tell us the health of the platform, the app engine, and the DDE Suite Link client object. So as a quick recap, the platform object is a representation of the computer that the software has been deployed to. Because a Galaxy can be distributed across multiple machines, there will be a platform instance for each machine. But from this template, I will add one graphic and derive multiple instances from this Win Platform template that will all inherit the same graphic. The same thing with the App Engine. The App Engine will belong to the Win Platform to let us know that that particular platform is an automation object server. The App Engine tells us the health of the process running on that machine. So things like scan cycles. And then on the DDE SuiteLink client object, this object, when created in its instance form, will be the gateway between the galaxy and the control world by communicating to the drivers that talk to the PLC, such as the DA and OI servers. So let's get started. On the Win platform, I'm gonna hit the plus sign to create a new symbol. Now in versions 2014 and earlier, there was a graphics tab at the top. And that's where you would do this. In version 2017 and higher, the graphics tab has been incorporated into the attributes tab underneath the symbols. So under these symbols, I'm gonna hit the plus sign, create a new symbol name, this way I know that this graphic is associated by name to the platform object. So every instance will have its own sim platform. After renaming, I'll hit enter, and then double click to open up the orchestra symbol graphic editor. The nice thing about the graphics that I'm gonna show you is there's no need to link them to the attributes. As soon as you drop a graphic of these types into the object, they will automatically self-bind to the attributes that are part of that object. Under the Embed Graphic button, and then under the Graphic Toolbox, I will expand through the Default Content, Graphics, Orchestra Symbol Library, and then Displays. Inside of Displays, there is a graphic dedicated for each system object type, such as one for the Win Platform object, one for the DDE SuiteLink object, and one for the App Engine in the event that we have an automation object server pair. If that is not the case, then you could use the engine primitive display for just a single App Engine. So now I will select Win Platform Display, drop it onto the screen, and that's it. There's really no need to rename the graphic or to link the custom properties because they're automatically linked inside of the platform since these graphics are already pre-animated. Hit save and close, then save and close out of the platform template, and then perform the same process in my other two objects, my App Engine and DDE SuiteLink client. Okay, graphics have been created. Now in order to view this, we can either create a brand new InTouch application or create a new window inside of an InTouch, inside of an existing InTouch application. Here I'm going to do this with a brand new application. 
To do so, I'm going to create a drive template from the InTouch View app. Give it a quick name. And now I will create a new window. Once I go to my embed graphic button at the top, I will choose instances rather than the actual graphic window. And here I'm going to choose my app engine. There is that sim engine there. Add that to the screen. Same process with my platform. And the DDE Sweet Link Client instance. In my scenario, it is called Sim. That's the name of the instance. And there is its object. To test it out, I'm going to use the fast switch at the top right where it says runtime. And if everything is deployed correctly, then I should be able to view the health of the platform where this is deployed to the object server, and the connection to my DDE SuiteLink client. And here, everything looks good. My platform is telling me the name of the machine, which in my scenario, it's all local, but it would list the name of the machine or IP address. My object server seems to be communicating efficiently. And my DDE SuiteLink object is connected and on scan. And with it being blank there, that means it's local host. The name of the OI server is called SIM in my scenario, and I have a good connection there. If I had listed any one of my topics, then I would be able to see that down below. And there is an option inside of the graphic to link up the topic in the custom properties, but that would be the only time where I would have to link up a topic inside of a graphic that I add to a template. Thank you very much for watching.